Hi everyone, welcome to Kimco's Academy. Today we will see what is McMurray coupling. It is an important coupling reaction. So we can discuss the mechanism and we will solve some problems also. Let's move on to the topic McMurray coupling. In McMurray coupling, two ketones of two aldehydes are coupled to form alkene. So the McMurray couplings reactants are ketones of aldehydes. When two ketones or aldehydes are coupled to form an alkene, it is called McMurray coupling. So the reagents used in McMurray couplings are titanium chloride and a reducing agent. So low valent titanium metal is used. Here the oxidation state of titanium is zero. Titanium chloride and a reducing agent. Reducing agent is uh, like lithium aluminum hydride, zinc copper coupled etc. are used in McMurray coupling. And this is the reaction of McMurray. So this is a ketone R1 C R2 double bond O and R3 R4 double bond O. And these are coupled together. So this bond is eliminated and this form a uh, alkene that is shown here double bond. We will discuss the mechanism uh, in this video. So another important point is mixture of E or Z. Mixture of E and Z is formed. E alkene and Z alkene is formed through McMurray coupling but major product will be E or otherwise uh, the preference uh, will be for E alkene. So McMurray coupling is the coupling of two ketones or aldehyde to get an alkene. E and Z alkenes are formed, but E alkene have more preference or major product will be E alkene. Now we will see the mechanism of McMurray coupling. So for McMurray coupling, there is no confirmed or exact mechanism uh, proposed yet. But uh, I will show you a mechanism which is very simple to understand. And actually the mechanism is not important to, for studying. Uh, you just need to know how to write the products when a reaction is given. So let's see the mechanism. First I am going to take a cyclohexanol. So in coupling, in McMurray coupling we need two ketones. So let's take two ketones. Now we are adding the low valent titanium. So let's it be titanium chloride. So titanium is in zero oxidation state. So what will happen? A single electron transfer takes place. Single electron transfer. Electron transfer takes place. How? This oxygen will bind with this titanium and this oxygen will bind with this titanium. So titanium forms bonds with this oxygen and this oxygen and a single electron transfer takes place. That means this bond's electron is shifted to here and this to here. So we can write this as here a radical or a electron and here also a electron is formed and this is O O titanium. So oxygen is attached to titanium. Oxygen of our two ketones are attached to titanium. Now what happened? These electrons can make a bond. So it can be shown here. These electrons are making a bond. When these electrons make a bond, here a bond is formed. This is the structure we are getting. And here what O, T, R, E, titanium. And here also O, T, I. And now in next step what will happen? This bond is eliminated. This bond's electron comes to here and this is eliminated. So what will we get? A cyclohexene double bond and a cyclohexene. So an alkene is formed. Alkene. So this is the simple mechanism uh, of McMurray coupling. A titanium, low valent titanium metal is uh, acting as a reagent and single electron.
transfer takes place and okay one more thing here heat is applied a heat is needed for this mercury coupling so when heat is applied the bond will eliminate and form a alkene so let's solve some problems of mercury coupling let's move on to the examples so in first example a ketone is given so we know mercury coupling is coupling of two ketones or aldehydes so how can we write the product first you write the reactant first so a benzene ring and from here double bond o and again a benzene ring so this is the reactant so we are coupling with this compound itself double bond a benzene ring and here a benzene ring so this is the uh, reactants so how to write the product you just erase the double bond o see double bond o and give a double bond so a uh, alkene is formed so just erase the double bond o and uh, put a uh, double bond c double bond o is replaced by c double bond c so this is the product so here there is no stereochemistry to explain and now coming to second problem this is a aldehyde this is an aldehyde so we are coupling this with uh, this compound itself two times so how to write the product a benzene ring then double bond so the c double bond o is erased and here we attach 1 2 3 1 2 so 1 2 3 and second position a methyl group and in third position a benzene so this is the product an uh, alkene is formed so this is an e alkene so we know e alkene e alkene is the major uh, product in mercury coupling so e alkene is formed and in third example also uh, e alkene will be formed how how to write the product ch3 c c6h5 ch3 c c6h5 double bond o is erased and we will put a c, a c double bond c and we know e alkene is formed E alkene. So here we will put C C H five and here C H three. So a E alkene is formed. So in fourth example, a aldehyde. So aldehyde is coupled. So the product will be benzene ring. And now C double bond O is replaced with the C double bond C. So what will be the product? Uh, C double bond C and here a benzene. And benzene attached with the S and the trimethyl. So this is the product. Here also E alkene is formed. So in mercury coupling, the major product will be E alkene. And what is mercury coupling? The coupling of two ketones and or two aldehydes to form a alkene. That is mercury coupling.